Welcome to Insights. I'm Eric. Thanks for stopping by again. We're going to talk about coffee. Coffee has been in the conversation for quite some time. We've it, The primary trend flipped nine months ago. It's produced a 32%, but it, it's gotten as high as 50%. It was quite volatile. Uh, the last uh, daily impulse of which now we're in a, a, a downward impulse or, or breakdown. This could be part of the resetting process and uh, perhaps it, it infects and turns the weekly down and then up again. But we'll, we'll, we'll have yet to see what is going to take place. But the last impulse that we saw, the last daily up, sent the price cycle up three standard deviations. The time cycle didn't get super extended, but it, the three standard deviation move was uh, quite uh, quite aggressive. It's what caused the uh, sell off. Um, I said the only at the time the only decision to be made was is to take some profits. Other than that, you had to be prepared to stomach the consolidation that was going to take place. And we're seeing that now as we've come down and now we flipped the daily down, at least uh, temporarily. In terms of uh, the primary trend, everything's still very close to zero. So this is probably not done yet. The seasonality hasn't changed much. August is a, usually a favorable month followed by a sluggish September. So perhaps... Perhaps the real reset comes um, towards uh, the end of August into September, and then everything resets. And and I think what we're going to be looking for, and even because then after that we have a halfway decent seasonal period for at least three months. Um, the real question will be is how is energy going to behave during that consolidation of clearly which we are in uh, underway now, and whether or not it expands. I think the unusual thing that I noticed from last week, uh, DI was 32 and DI2 was lower. And we're going to take a look at that chart. If you're trading this, uh, keep an eye on energy. Again, there's nothing to really trade other than hold the core position. We're waiting for a reset, and we're going to see if that reset, when it comes, is going to be viable, which means that we're going to have some sort of energy build. This is, this is decent. Uh, DI is 29, and it's not overwhelmingly bullish. DI2 is still below zero, so we're going to have to pull that up a little higher, and we should do that in the coming weeks. I think what we found, or at least what I found unusual, and if you click this link, you're going to get your DI charts up, and you're going to take a look at, uh, it's going to look like this. What you can't see right off the bat was, and you can see in the little notations by the computer, is that DI2 has dropped from the previous week. And DI, or DI had dropped, and DI2 has had risen. And Participation remains high and the primary trend is still up. I think what I found unusual is during the consolidation, which I expected, uh, DI was 32 right here at this line. And as we got down to where the, the observation period of which the DI is, because there's a three day lag towards what we get on Friday. So roughly about here, which uh, accounted for a sell off, DI didn't rise, uh, it, did, it, it, it remained almost insignificant, relatively flat. It uh, showed a little bit of distribution, but these types of number changes are almost insignificant. So it was relatively neutral, which was a bit surprising. I would have thought that the invisible hand or the composition within the futures and option market would show more accumulation into a sharp sell-off like this, but it didn't do it. And that's why you can't front run the thoughts of the invisible hand and think, oh, well, the next decline is certainly going to be bought. You don't know that until it comes out. And, and in this case, a sharp drop didn't uh, didn't materialize a, a large DI spike. It could happen here. It could happen even if it's as we drift higher. It's just the whole point of the evolution of the trade is just to be patient and to wait because if you try and anticipate, a lot of times, uh, anticipation is um, a function of opinion, and that is usually what gets you into trouble in in the trading world that uh, depends on a lot of tra uh, uh, mechanical discipline. Discipline as in you know, following one security like it, it's no different than, than another. Uh, we're going to track coffee just like we track Bitcoin. That's hardcore discipline, and it's hard to remove your opinion from the trading setup enough to ignore um, uh, an unexpected event like this. Um, so what you shouldn't be is you shouldn't be surprised. we are just absorb this information. We're still probably um, dealing with the consolidation and perhaps it is uh, something favorable is yet to come. Uh, one thing I will say is that 
and into the decline, a shorter decline that we saw, we didn't really see WA drop off a lot. WA is uh, almost at 200% or 100%, which means full participation. So there's a lot of activity. This is a very hot market. And perhaps the market has to cool off a bit before there's interest in it. So where we stand with coffee is, is that the market's primary trend is still up. It's up 32%. The energy build was a little bit disappointing for the bulls, but it really wasn't super conclusive. We started a consolidation. It could be a short term. It could last a couple of weeks. It could last a few days. I mean, we don't know. And we'll just have to keep an eye in the coming weeks through August to see whether or not the invisible hand is going to accumulate any type of consolidation. Perhaps it's contained in the daily. Maybe it expands into the weekly. But up to this point, we really don't know. If you have any questions about coffee, how it's playing through, everybody should just be holding on to their core position for now. This is why uh, I've always said don't front run these things and, and be as patient as you can. But if you have any questions, contact me back to the blog. If not, thanks for watching and we'll, uh, we'll update coffee when it needs to be uh, again. Hopefully that'll be something positive in the coming weeks.